Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today's episode, we've got Pepper Loves Doctors and Nurses. Let's start reading. Pepper Loves Doctors and Nurses. It was people who help us day at playgroup and everyone was excited. Now, children, began Madame Gazelle. Today, we have two very special visitors. They are both people who help us. Is one the Queen? asked Peppa. Is one my auntie? asked Rebecca Rabbit. Dinosaur roar, asked George. Three wonderful guesses, said Madame Gazelle. But the people coming to see us today are Dr Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children, jumping up and down. They love Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. When I hurt my leg, I had to go to the hospital, said Pedro Pony. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox looked after me. When I was feeling poorly, said Pepper, Dr. Brown Bear made me all better. Just then there was a noise from outside. The children ran to the window to look. Madam Gazelle, it's Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Good morning, everyone, said Dr. Brown Bear. Today, Nurse Fox and I are going to talk to you about keeping fit and staying healthy. Let's start by going over to the playground and getting our bodies moving. Yippee, cheered the children. They loved moving around outside. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox had built an obstacle course. To keep fit and healthy, we must move our bodies every day, said Dr. Brown Bear. Madame Gazelle, will you show us how it's done? The children watched in amazement as Madame Gazelle completed the obstacle course perfectly. Ta-da! she cried. Now it's your turn, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. Ready, steady, go! Pepper and her friends set off. They swung, crawled, hopped, slid, and jumped around and skipped. This is so much fun, isn't it, Susie? cheered Pepper. But as she turned to Susie's sheep, Pepper forgot to look where she was going and fell on her bottom. Oops, cried Pepper. Thump. Nurse Fox came straight over. Are you all right? she asked. I think so, said Pepper. Good, said Nurse Fox, checking that Pepper was not hurt. You can carry on now, Pepper, but please be careful. Thank you for helping me, said Pepper. Pepper loved the obstacle course. This is my favourite bit, she cried, jumping high and landing in a big muddy puddle. <clears throat> I'm not sure that's part of the course, Pepper, said Madame Gazelle, smiling. Snack time, called Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children. Don't forget to wash your hands before you eat, said Nurse Fox. All the children went to wash their hands. Peppa and Rebecca sang the Wash Your Hands song. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrabbly, scrabbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. Eating healthy food helps us stay strong Stay fit and strong, said Dr. Brown Bear, as he tried to open his snack box. Hmm, this seems to be stuck. Uh, Nurse Fox, could you help me, please? Nurse Fox came over and opened the box easily. Nurse Fox, gasped Pepper, you must eat lots of healthy food to be that strong. Everyone laughed. Hee hee hee. Pepper and her friends loved snack time. Yummy, they cried. Keeping fit and strong was delicious. You've done such a good job today, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. When they're finished, I'm going to give you all a sticker. Hooray, children, children. They love stickers, too. Madame Gazelle brought out the dressing up box. It's time for you to be doctors and nurses now, children, she said. Pepper and her friends had lots of fun dressing up. Dr. Brown Bear, said Pepper, the doctor. You must keep fit and, fit and stay healthy too. Of course, he replied. Oh. 
The children took Dr. Brown Bear outside and told him to go around the obstacle course. One more time, cried Pepper the doctor. Okay, puff. How's this, gasped Dr. Brown Bear. When he was allowed to stop, he looked quite tired. Dr. Brown Bear doesn't look very well, said Pepper the doctor. I think he needs a plaster. And bandages, added Nurse Danny Dog. And more bandages, asked Nurse Susie. Now he needs a sticker, said Pepper the doctor. And the little doctors and nurses covered Dr. Brown Bear in stickers. Thank you all for being so helpful, said Dr. Brown Bear. He was covered in so many bandages, he couldn't move. What a patient he was. What do we say to our visitors, asked Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Nurse Fox, cheered the children, giving them a big clap. Clap, clap, clap. Pepper loves doctors and nurses. Everyone loves doctors and nurses. The end. Thanks for watching. Until next time.